Ksenia Mia Brogilovsky, it's quarter after nine in the evening on the 18th of February. Uh, this is yet another motel room that I am in uh, prior to my departure from Canada, hopefully in the coming days. I just want to take a note of uh, the kind of dwellings. I can't find another word uh, more suitable to the structure I'm currently in. It's a dwelling uh, that's um, in a uh, state of disrepair and disregard, um, hastily renovated and furnished. So then when I say renovated, it means that, okay, the new uh, laminate plank is put into place. All right. Um, there is new bedding, like two queen beds. This whole uh, panel seems to be new. Okay, the doors into the bathroom seem to be new. Okay, there are um, certain upgrades in the bathroom, specifically the sink, um, the vanity that's sort of uh, uh, beautifying the space. Uh, the fit in uh, bathtub, but really, if you look at it, the structure itself is of a dilapidated uh, residential building that probably used to be either a motel or some sort of uh, condominium or some sort of um, a residential unit that is at least 20, 30 years old. I am thinking older than that. Um, 30, 40 maybe years old. Uh, like the structure itself is just, it, it, it speaks for itself. Okay, so like, okay, the new flooring is put into place, but like, look at the walls. These are the walls. Okay, hastily plastered over. Uh, the door itself is not closing so that it would uh, actually keep out whatever is happening in the bathroom. In the bathroom, uh, there is a wide gap between the floor and the door. Okay, I've put in some uh, napkins, pardon me, because uh, there were two maintenance guys uh, wearing their whatever day to day boots, walked in to take the pissed over um, chair from the room. I mean, there is an adjoining room here. Uh, the door itself, look at the ironing board, also sort of stained and uh, I don't know why they keep this sort of things in the room, I don't understand. Like the adjoining room um, is separated by a door uh, there is a, a LED TV mounted or rather slapped onto the wall, but the structure itself is just like, oh my God, oh my God. It's, I don't know it. And it is a, it is a hotel in the middle of Vaughan, which is the Northern GTA. Look at all this. The curtains, okay, all this, like, it looks like hell, hell, with the new laminate plank. <sighs> the light, the table um, lighting is, I don't know, from 20 years ago, maybe, all scratched out to hell, too. Like the walls, like mostly the walls plastered over. It's just wow, wow. Like I would only pay for it to shield myself from the Canadian winter, really. And that's extortion, given that. I have not chosen Canadian winters just to sort of uh, survive and uh, fight for my life, not to freeze to death somewhere out there. 
just because I was trafficked into Canada. Wow, I have to live in this sort of conditions. I did not have a life. I had a torture all throughout. Yeah.